Welcome, friends, to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. For our centering today, let's do something a little different. Let's uh, close our eyes, do one ohm together, and then tune into your heartbeat for a moment. Inhaling. Hari Om Tatsat, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. This is episode number 166, entitled, You are the king or queen in your own area. We'll spend another week on the 35th verse of the uh, third chapter. I'll read it to you. It is better to do your own swadharma poorly than to do someone else's duty perfectly. Even if you physically die while carrying out your duty, it is better than switching to someone else's dharma, which is perilous for the soul. Before I discovered yoga, I was a competitive long-distance swimmer. Unfortunately, I brought some of that competitiveness into the spiritual life. Shortly after I became a Swami in 1975, I moved to the New York Integral Yoga Institute. And the, the leader of the center at that time was a very capable and charismatic Swami. And though we were friends, I still felt some jealousy and some competition with him. And I was ashamed of these thoughts. Uh, how, could a, how could a monk have petty feelings like this? Maybe I'm not fit to be a Swami. And then one day, uh, the New York Sangha took a trip to our main ashram. At that time, it was in Connecticut to see our guru, uh, Swami Satsadananda. And it was a beautiful Saturday. We were all on the lawn uh, in the back of the main building. And a bunch of people were gathered around this uh, charming New York Swami. And nobody was gathered around Swami Shukananda, me. Then I noticed uh, our guru, Sri Gurudev, uh, joined us outside. And I was particularly immediately disgusted with myself for these jealous feelings. Uh, toward my wonderful brother monk, especially in the presence of my guru. So I went to the corner of the lawn and sulked there, feeling that I was a, an unworthy spiritual seeker. Then Guru would have called out something and everybody looked up. I couldn't hear what he said. Then he started walking in my direction. And this time I heard him say, you know, you're the king in your own area. It wasn't until he was standing in front of me that I realized he was talking to me. And then he said it again. You're the king in your own area. If I wanted uh, everyone to be gathered around me instead of the other Swami, now I had my wish. Not the way I wanted it, though. When uh, Gurudev saw that I had no idea what he was talking about, uh, he said, there's no other Swami Ashokananda in this world. There's no one to take your place. You're the king in your own area. After he said that, I started feeling some pressure in my chest and my legs felt unsteady as if the ground wasn't stable. And the next thing I knew, I burst out crying. It was almost not even crying. It was like a convulsing from a very deep place. And Guru let me go on like that for a while. Everyone's around me. Then he pointed to some children that were playing nearby, like three to five-year-old children. And he said, see these kids? They also get competitive, jealous, they hurt each other's feelings, but they don't hold on to that. They can let go and play with each other again as friends. Okay, you have these uncomfortable feelings. So what? Laugh at them. God sees your good heart. There was so much love and compassion in Guruda's face. He saw me with all my weaknesses, uh, and he still believed in me. And it felt like a great burden had been lifted from my soul, that it came out into the surface. 
And I can't say that the competitive impulses and the negative self-judgments completely disappeared after that. But I can say that they never had the same hold over me again. For reflection, uh, I'll read you something from Swami Satsananda. Find out what your Swadharma is. Ask yourself, how do I feel when I do certain things? Does something come easily? Is it natural for me? Or am I trying to imitate somebody? Some things feel so natural, like you're a fish in water. So just know, ah, that's what I'm meant to do. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.